12 Habits You Must Ditch to Become Rich. Hey there, want to be wealthy? Well, how well do you manage to have lots of cash and live an awesome life? It's not that easy, is it? Because you'll have to ditch some toxic habits. It's no mystery that poor people have habits that the rich don't. So let's look at 12 habits that you must ditch to become rich. This is Wealthy Fact, where you come to watch, execute, and get wealthy. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you don't want to miss getting rich, remember to switch on the bell icon. Let's get rolling. Number one, valuing money more than time. Imagine there are three people named Ben, Sam, and Allison. All three make a million dollars, but Ben makes a million dollars in 10 years. Sam makes a million dollars in one year, and Allison makes a million dollars in one month. Now, who do you think is rich? Ben, Sam, or Allison? Well, obviously Allison, since she values time more than money. Therefore, she earns the same amount of money in a short period. Rich people don't waste time on things such as changing a car, but rather spend time wisely to make more money. So, use your time to invest in yourself. You may say, there's still time, or maybe next time. But remember, maybe you have no time. Number two, blame others for their shortcomings. Well, poor people blame others for their shortcomings. They'll always have someone to blame. Either it's their boss, their family, their city, their lover, their neighbor, their friends. It's always something, but it's never their own mistake. Always remember that those people who are weak can never reach their peak. But rich people, they always take responsibility for their actions. If their life is going down the drain, it's all their fault, not someone else's. If their performance is poor, only they are accountable, not anyone else. Therefore, always take charge of your actions. It gives you power, the power to overcome your downfall, to do better, to strive hard, and to achieve the unachievable. Number three, zero investment. You'll always hear people saying that they don't buy that coffee, but rather save the money, or don't fly in business class and instead fly in economy. Well, here's the thing. Don't save pennies, but rather increase your income. More income means more investment, which is again, more income. The only reason you should be saving money is to invest. Investments are your long-term assets. Invest your money the same way you spend your money on groceries and learn to earn while you're asleep. That's surely possible through investment. Concentrate on offense, not defense. Number four, only opinions with no learning. You see, some people, they know everything. They have opinions about every single thing. They always have something to tell, whether it's about politics, relationships, business deals, or as simple as changing a diaper. They know it all. These people are therefore always insecure about their lives and want attention, and that is why they do what they do. But rich people, they are always open to learning. They will always ask questions. They will always be there to listen. They are always open to ideas. So learn and grow. Learn through books and videos and documentaries. Learn whatever you can get your hands on. Learning makes you confident. It gives you new skills and new information that only makes you better. Number five, no action, only buying lotteries. First of all, ditch the thinking and mainly the action of buying lotteries. It's a very slim chance you'll even win. Buying lottery tickets does not get you rich. It only gets you a bunch of papers and lost hopes. Hopes of buying that house, investing in a company, or going on a vacation. Failed attempts at winning a lottery only destroy your personality and waste your money. Therefore, in order for you to be rich, you must love to act. Only actions get you a reaction. Actions to be successful, to be a better investor, to be a better businessman makes you rich, richer, richest. Always rely on yourself and never on others especially not on lottery tickets. Believe in yourself and make it happen. Only you can change your destiny with all honesty. Number six, late to bed and late to rise. Well, who doesn't like a good night's sleep? Sleeping for six to eight hours and a sleep that is beneficial for you. It can only be those who care less about their future and more about their present. Recent studies have revealed that people who are early to bed and early to rise tend to be more active, more productive, and can solve a problem more easily. 
due to the fact that our body has a biological clock. It is therefore at its best when rested properly and awake in the morning. Morning people are more persistent, joyful, and cooperative. In short, they entice all the positive traits a leader should have. Therefore, all successful CEOs and businessmen wake up early in the morning and end their day early. And so should you. Number seven, overspending. You wake up one day only to realize that you're swimming in a sea of overexpenditures. Expenses get you nowhere. Neither do they satisfy your emotional cravings, nor do they satisfy your physical needs, because we always want more. You know you have a car, but the neighbor bought an SUV, and now you want better. But remember, the simplest of lives are spent by the richest of them all. Therefore, learn to develop logical budgets, and then stick to it. Number eight, getting paid based on time instead of results. There are people who are at the top of their careers but still have zero value. This is due to the fact that they get paid based on time instead of results. For example, let's say you work in Starbucks and you're the best floor cleaner. But what value do you bring to Starbucks? Does it matter that you work there? No, right? Therefore, learn to be paid based on results. For example, you release a product into the market, a product you've spent all your time, money, blood, and sweat on. But it is a big flop. It doesn't make you a dime. But does anyone care? Nope, not at all. All they care about is results. That's why the highest paid managers and athletes get paid based on results. If they don't give results, they don't get paid. Number nine, taking loans. Borrowing loans is the worst of them all. It not only brings you financial distress, but also emotional turmoil. Once you start getting a loan, even if it is for an investment, you'll most probably end up with bad results. There are so many people out there who are ready to pay loans for their whole life just for luxury items that are not even worth the money or effort. Make a commitment to yourself to never jump into the world of debt. Debt is never your own money. It's always someone else's money unless you've returned the full amount. Number ten, binge watching useless dramas and movies. Watching television and binge watching seasons on Netflix and other platforms are the new norm. Do you remember all the hype around the world on Game of Thrones? What did those people gain in their life rather than waste precious moments? The media is designed in this way to be addictive, so that people spend hours and hours of their life making them money and only wasting their own time. But rich people. You'll never see them wasting their time. Instead, in their free time, they read books. They invest their time in gaining new knowledge to be more competitive. For example, you're an artist and you sell your art. But if you learn sales and marketing techniques, it will benefit you because people only buy if you can convince them into buying your art. Hence, ditch the binge watching and start reading. Number eleven, no meditation. What do Oprah Winfrey? Bill Gates, Ariana Huffington have in common, besides lots of money. Well, they all meditate. They all believe that meditation has contributed a major part in their success. Considering the benefits, it's not an irony what meditation can do to a person. It has proved to add several productive hours to your day, has improved brain functions, provided peace of mind, given a better night's sleep, and most importantly, increased attention span. Nowadays, it's even easier to meditate with so many meditation apps that can be installed on smartphones. Hence, there's no excuse to dedicate at least 10 minutes of your day to meditation. You'll be surprised at the results. Number 12, no planning. As said by the famous Thomas Edison, a good fortune is what happens when planning meets with opportunities. Preparing for your goal is the key to success. In short, people who are rich. Don't just mull over their thoughts and goals, but rather put words to their intentions and then stick to it. For example, if you're going grocery shopping with everything you need in your head, and when you're shopping, you've already forgotten half of the things, compared to if you went grocery shopping with a list, then you'll end up with all the things on the list, and there will be no loser. Recent studies suggest that people who plan their day are 289% likely to become millionaires, compared to those who don't. So all these points today suggest that it may seem like you're sacrificing a lot to be successful, but trust me, it's all worth it. 
Oh, and when you finally ditch those habits and become rich, can I borrow a few dollars? <laughs> Just kidding. Les, what else are you sacrificing to make your way to the top? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like our video and share it with your friends. Stay on the wealthy side of life.